Bishop, good to see you again. And uh, we've now opened the uh, Holy Year here. We're about to open the Holy Year uh, with the Holy Doors on Sunday. Uh, and you issued a pastoral last week about, uh, about the Holy Year and the Year of Mercy. Um, and one of the first things you said is that this idea of mercy is not a new thing, that it's a constant teaching right. of some of the previous Holy Fathers. And you, you went into several quotes from the Holy Fathers. Sure. So, so this is part of a long tradition here. It is. Uh, we understand mercy is part of the Certainly most recently, since the Second Vatican Council, all the popes have, in one way or another, uh, emphasized it. John Paul's first encyclical was Divas and Misericordia, rich in mercy. God is rich in mercy. Mm -hmm. The whole encyclical is on God's mercy. So it's nothing new. It's a question of applying it to particular things. And I think uh, Pope Francis has made specific uh, recommendations that can be helpful to people to say this is how we should apply God's mercy. Mm -hmm. To open the Holy Year, we're going to have the opening of these holy doors, which we've gone over before. But one of the things that uh, is applicable here is that people can gain a plenary indulgence. And after we talked about this the last time on TV, somebody came up to me <laughs> and said, what is a plenary indulgence? <laughs> so uh, could you g tell us what is a plenary indulgence and how does one uh, achieve it? Well, you got to go back a little bit. Why do we need an indulgence? The point is that in life, we don't always make up for all the wrong things we do. And we get a second chance after we die. It's called purgatory. Mm -hmm. At the waiting time, if we really have not made up for our own sins and faults, we have time before we can experience the full glory and love of God, okay? Uh, people, some people do that in this life. Some of them don't. But the temporal punishment due to our sins, temporal time, time of, of waiting, time of, of longing for God can be reduced. And a plenary indulgence means that all is reduced when we are properly disposed. That means when we really are truly sorry for our sins, when we want to make a conversion of life, when we're going to turn our life around. That's what a plenary indulgence means. So it isn't a question we have to do what is required, but more importantly is the right attitude in the first place that we want to turn our life around. We want to see God when we leave this world. And we're preparing ourselves by mortifying ourselves and making up for the wrong we've done in many different ways. So plenary indulgence is kind of a help to us to uh, uh, certify, in a sense, that we're ready mm -hmm. uh, to see God completely. We, we don't want any baggage to take with us out of this world. So to gain the plenary indulgence, people would visit the designated church, walk through the holy door, and... Uh, right, and, but have to receive the sacrament of reconciliation, be in a state of grace, uh, receive communion, uh, pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. It's right. simple, it's not complicated. Right. Uh, one of the local applications that uh, you've announced is uh, at the tribunal, that uh, we're going to show some mercy by reducing the fee, uh, or yeah. doing away with the fee. Well, the, let's start from the beginning. The fee was really <coughs> only one quarter of what it cost for the tribunal to be in existence to help people uh, look f for the basis of their annulment and their marriage. We always waived the fee if somebody couldn't pay it, so it wasn't, it wasn't an obstacle. Maybe people thought that it wasn't waivable, but we, anybody who came, we looked at their circumstances and said, I really can't afford it. They, they would be waived. And we had actually a fund that was helped the tribunal to waive those fees. Now, uh, we will waive the fee completely, but if somebody wants to give a donation for the work that's been done, we'll happily take it. Mm -hmm. So there shouldn't be any obstacle for someone to come forward and to, uh, uh, you know, see if their marriage was not a complete sacramental marriage. Mm -hmm. The fee n was normally not what stopped people. It's not an easy process personally to relive what most people feel was a failure. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to say, oh, I failed. Why? What happened? Whose fault? Back and forth to get witnesses, to collect the documents. It's a, it's a process. It's unpleasant. You can't make it any easier than it, than it is, but it's unpleasant. That's why people have not come forward. And then you've got the general thing today that people are not getting married sacramentally. They're mm -hmm. living together. So it's, it's, not, it's not something that the number of, of requests for annulments has decreased over the years. Mm -hmm. So uh, we hope that this will encourage people to regularize their situation. And you also announced that there'll be several uh, pilgrimages during the Holy Year. You'll be going on a couple of those, I think, yourself, right? Yes, uh, I'll be going to World Youth Day, and then there's another pilgrimage 
in September to Rome and Assisi and perhaps the Holy Land, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the circumstances. So we, we are looking for forward to these pilgrimages for people. Pilgrimages take people from their pr present circumstances, from their familiar circumstances, bring them to some other places, some holy places, where they can encounter God. That's what the whole idea of pilgrimage is, mm. uh, to get out of, the, uh, the, out of the ordinary, to look for the extraordinary opportunity to meet God. And I uh, think uh, next fall also pilgrimage to the uh, Diocesan Shrine in Washington, I believe, That's right? That's right. We have that in, sub in September or October. And uh, they're even going to the Divine Mercy Shrine in Massachusetts, which mm -hmm. is a, a place of, uh, of, of pilgrimage. So we'll be looking for other opportunities for people so that they can leave the, the ordinary and find the extraordinary. Good. Bishop, thanks so much for being with us today. Okay.